Hi, this is Shep Hyken, customer service and experience expert, and today I've got a great tip when it comes to, of all things, customer service, of course. Here it is, stop reading from the script. This is actually why some companies get a bad rap. Our colleague here at Shepherd Presentations, Nate Jones, shared a story of something that recently happened to his father. He bought a new car. About a month later, he's in a parking lot and the car won't start. So he calls the dealership's customer service number, which was actually a support center for all of that brand's dealerships in the entire United States, and maybe even the world for all I know. The call started off okay, but quickly derailed into one of those you won't believe this kind of stories. After a little troubleshooting over the phone, the customer support agent said, I'm sorry, you'll have to take the car into the dealership. One big problem, he couldn't get the car started. Now, let's all assume the customer service agent knew that. Rather than show empathy and suggest the car would have to be towed to the dealership, this rep simply said to take the car to the dealership, ignoring the fact that the car wouldn't start. Now, maybe they really meant get it towed, but that's not the message that was conveyed to the customer. The customer then said, I would if I could get the car started. And her response was, oh, sorry about that. It was obvious that this rep was trained to tell the customer that when they can't solve the problem on the phone, make an appointment to take the car to the dealer. It probably wasn't an actual script, but it was an answer they were trained to use. Instead, what the rep could have done for the customer was, number one, listen. The customer service rep would never have suggested just taking the car to the dealership had she heard the customer say, it won't start. She would have suggested to tow the car to the dealership or would have hopefully arranged for that. We'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, they were probably just going through the motions with troubleshooting exercises, not really paying attention to the customer. Number two, show some empathy. This ties back to listening. You can't show empathy if you don't listen to the customer and understand the problem that they're having. And number three, do more than just apologize for the problem. Maybe go a step further and offer to call a tow truck to have the car picked up. If they really wanted to turn this moment of misery into a moment of magic, they could have offered to help him find a way home. Maybe call for an Uber or help find some other form of transportation to get the customer home safely. After all, the car wasn't even a month old. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. The rep practically said, too bad, so sad, goodbye. And that's not the type of customer experience that gets a customer to say, I'll be back. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.